Hi guys, you're welcome back. We are on the 25th model of this particular weather application. Whereby we'll be talking about the detailed layout and data binding. What about we get to create uh, a more uh, enhanced detailed activity and uh, we, we, we're going to bind uh, some data, which is the weather data, uh, together. First of all, in the module app session of the build gradle, we have to enable the data binding. That's data binding enabled, true. So you should specify this line in your gradle script before moving further. After doing this, you synchronize the gradle and you, your application is set and ready to, to work on. I uh, will be moving straight to the detail activity. Uh, this activity has been created earlier, but we're going to be working on the detail activity, uh, whereby we'll be adding some uh, functionality into it, and uh, let's see how it flows. We're going to remove all the text view declarations, which is actually right there. If you should look at your previous code, you have some text views declared. No, this field is used for data binding. Normally, we would have to call the find view by ID many times to get references to the views in this activity. With data binding, however, we only need to call data binding utility and set the content view and pass in a content and the layout as we do in the on create of this class. Then we can access all of the views in our layout programmatically without cluttering of the code with find view by id instead of using the find view by id continuously like huh, with the use of just uh the data binding you tool set content view and calling on the context and the layouts you get you, you set so let's see how uh, everything it flows you declare an activity detail binding field which is uh called the m detail binding in the uncreate method we remove all the call to the set content view in the previous tutorial. Uh, we also remove all the find view by ID calls. Now what we're going to do, we instantiate the empty data binding using the data binding utilities. Uh, whereby we set the content view as I've mentioned. You call on the layout activity detail. And you pass it into the M detail binding. That's cool. Uh, let's see what else we get to do um right inside yeah now we need to display the weather icon using the mdt binding right inside the unload finished method you read the weather condition id from the cursor and uh provided by the open weather map which is uh, actually this so uh we also need to display the date still based on the m data binding can you notice where well, we get the weather icon all right now we need to display the dates text still on the m data binding that was actually created up there can you get this which is the field from the activity data binding i hope you're not lost so just follow me now we set the date. Uh, we're going to create the content description for the dis for the uh, alley. Well, we create the accessibility string from the weather description, uh, the description alley, and uh, which is the forecast description. Uh, this is a string uh, field. We use the M data binding to display the description and set the content description. How about you set the text and content description? for accessibility purpose. Uh, this is still the MDT binding working here, calling the primary info. Where that description, you set the text, you pass the description as the parameter. Same thing goes down to the sent content description where you pass the description highly as a parameter. You now set the content description of the icon to the same as the weather description highly text. You set the, uh, which is what we've done here with the weather icon. You set the content description of the icon. That's cool. Um, now we're going to create the content description from the eye temperature for for each alley. What about we have the eye, which is the eye string. 
Now we're going to use the M data binding to display the high temperature and start the content description appropriately. Whereby we have the high temperature inside the text, we pass the high string. The other is the set content description. Now we create the content description for the low, you know, in every chorus, in every low, there will be a corresponding I, and in every I this, uh, situation, there will be a low, definitely. Now we also set the text and the content description to the low string and the low alley. We create the content description from the humidity for each alley, you know, this is for the high low, this now is for the humidity, all right? Now we set the text, we set the content description. Uh, we set the content description for the humidity label. You know, that's how it's flowing continuously. Now we create for the wind speed direction. We set the text, set the content description. Also for the wind label. We're going to create for pressure. What about we have the barometer pressure and the pressure string? And you see, calling from the string uh, XML. Now we set the text, set the content description as we've done for each one of them. That's cool. Now let's look at the XML, which is the UI needed in this particular data binding and um, detail layout. We have the primary weather info XML that's found in the layout file uh, layout folder which is the uh, XML the primary weather info XML let's get to look at what this XML is all about uh, you create a layout called the primary weather info and you surround the entire layout with the layout tag for data binding you know you need to surround this with this layout tag and we are using the constraint layout about create the primary weather info layout i think we've covered the constraints uh, and also the constraint guideline that divides the screen into a left half and a right half and is used to anchor the views to the middle of the screen as okay whereby we have the text view the image view the text view and some other high and low parameters we have the constraint layout closing tag and the layout closing tag Let's get to look at the extra weather details XML. We create this layout called the extra weather details and we surround the entire layout with the layout tag. Just like what we've done and we're using the constraint uh, to create the extra weather details layout. And also we have the guideline just like the way we have for the primary weather info. You have the text view right inside it for the pressure, humidity, uh, measurement wind label for the wind measurement basically is for humidity uh pressure and wind the closing constraint tag with the closing layout tag let's get to look at the activity forecast you know we are now binding things together uh tweaking up the ui and making it look more appealing for the users All right, this is still maintained. The frame layout where we have the recycler view and the progress bar still untouched. The activity detail is something funky with it here. We create the, we delete out the old layout completely. So I would like you to you know to compare, compare the, the previous uh, activity detail to this. You notice that there's some uh, old layout here. What about deleted? Completely now we are using the layout tag, you know, for data binding. We use the layout tag. You no, know, just keep that in stock. That for, for data binding in the XML, you use the layout tag. To create a linear layout to contain uh two included layouts that share equal space. That's what this is doing. And we're gonna include the primary weather info layout. That's include, you know, we're including stuff here. Which is what the layout primary weather info. That's what we included, which is this primary weather info into the activity detail XML. Now we're also going to include something, the extra weather details. Uh, we're actually including this layout, the extra weather details. 
that have actually talked about that holds on to the humidity, the pressure, and uh, the wind. That's fine. It's all about data binding and uh, detail layout. So I really want you to catch up with the primary use of data binding instead of uh, the repetition, which is uh, not part of the, the good uh, philosophy of coding. You know, you write once and everything uh, synchronized, you know, with all functionality. So instead of you using the find view by ID, rep we are repeating that, you know, in different occasion, you just use your data binding and you, you set. First of all, you need to declare the data binding enabled to true in your Gradle script. Thank you very much for hanging out with me through this model. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Still stick to ours. Don't go anywhere. We still have so much in stock.